I want to show you how to find the mean, mean, median, and mode in Excel. So we're going to go to Excel now. Here are some data values that I came up with and I want to find eventually, I'm going to skip down a couple of lines, but I want to eventually find the mean, the median, and the mode. And to do that I need to know a couple of things. For the mean I need to know the sum of all the data items and I need to know how many there are. So how many data items I have. So I can use a couple of functions in Excel to do that. The, the first one will just be the sum. Two ways to do this. I can select my data so I can click on my first value and then do control shift down arrow. This is very handy and it's going to select all of my data down to the last data point that I have. And then if I have all of those selected, then I can just click auto sum here and it'll put the sum for me in the very next cell. So if I click on it, it's using the Excel function equals sum <clears throat> and then it has the the range of data selected that it wants that I wanted it to add up. So that's the sum of my data. The other thing I need to know is the end. Remember how many data values I have. So I'm going to use another Excel function. It's equals count, lift parenthesis, and then I need to select my data. I don't think that auto select is going to work because I have the sum at the end of it this time. Right parenthesis, it tells me I have 11 values. So then for the mean, I can just say equals. It's telling Excel I want to calculate. So I'll calculate. 177 and then I'm clicking on the cell because then it'll just use whatever my sum came to and then divided by and click on the cell with the n in it and then I can push enter and there's my mean for my median there's a function in Excel it's called median and I can use that one push the tab and then I have to click on that group of data there and it tells me the median is 6 and then the mode is going to be equals mode oh and it'll tell me if I have more than one mode I might have more than one mode so let's try that and it tells me my mode is 4 that's the value that occurs the most frequently and when I look through my data I do see two sixes and two fours yeah Excel will find for mode it's a little tricky because it'll find the first the lowest mode and then it'll stop it'll just show you that mode so if you want to know the other mode you have to order it it's the first mode that it comes across so if I switch the order of these two watch what happens I'm gonna put six and then four because I have four and then six and I know six is a mode as well so push six and then four and then now look down here mode is six because that's the first mode that it's running across so yeah it's a little tricky so you gotta be careful with that one um, but it does show you a mode maybe not the only mode now let's since I have this all set up with with equations I can come in here and change a value say I made a mistake and this really wasn't 36 and I look at it and I see there were no num numbers with double digits it was really supposed to be a 6 and then maybe I see that the 44 was not supposed to be a 44 either it was really supposed to be a 4 and I just mistyped so I come down here both of those I decide I must have done them wrong and that one was actually maybe an 8. So when I do that, do you notice how all my values are changing? Every time I change something, all these, the mean, median, and mode are all, all switching to match my new data. So that's a really nice feature in Excel. And the way we get it is by using these functions so that if we go back and have to correct any of our data, I'll put in a 13 there, then it automatically recalculates everything that I need. So that's how you can use mean, median, and mode. I do want to show you one other thing for the mean, and that is an Excel function that calculates the mean for you. And it's equals average, like that. And then I need to select the data range where all my data is, right parenthesis, 
and push enter. And it's calculating the, this was the one we did by hand, and this was the one we did by the function. And they both work equally well.